ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਹੁਕਮਨਾਮਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਟੁਡੇ ਇਜ਼ ਔਨ ਅੰਗ 644 ਆਫ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਇਨ ਸੋਟ ਰਾਗ ਸਤਨਾਮ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਸ਼ਲੋਕ ਮਹੱਲਾ ਤੀਜਾ ਸਤਿਗੁਰ ਕੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਸਫਲ ਹੈ ਜੇ ਕੋ ਕਰੇ ਚਿਤ ਲਾਏ ਮਨ ਚਿੰਦਿਆ ਫਲ ਪਾਵਣਾ ਹਉਮੈ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੋ ਜਾਏ ਸਤਿਗੁਰ ਕੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਸਫਲ ਹੈ ਜੇ ਕੋ ਕਰੇ ਚਿਤ ਲਾਏ ਮਨ ਚਿੰਦਿਆ ਫਲ ਪਾਵਣਾ ਹਉਮੈ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੋ ਜਾਏ ਬੰਧਨ ਤੋੜੈ ਮੁਕਤ ਹੋਏ ਸੱਚੇ ਰਹਿ ਸਮਾਏ ਇਸ ਜਗ ਮਹ ਨਾਮ ਅਲਬ ਹੈ ਗੁਰਮੁਖ ਵਸੈ ਮਨ ਆਏ ਨਾਨਕ ਜੋ ਗੁਰ ਸੇਵ ਹੈ ਆਪਣਾ ਹਉ ਤਿਨ ਬਲਿਹਾਰੈ ਜਾਉ ਮਹੱਲਾ ਤੀਜਾ ਮਨ ਮੁਖ ਮਨ ਅਜਿਤ ਹੈ ਦੂਜੇ ਲਗੈ ਜਾਏ ਤਿਸ ਨੋ ਸੁਖ ਸੁਪਨੈ ਨਹੀਂ ਦੁਖੇ ਦੁਖ ਵਿਹਾਏ ਘਾਰੇ ਘਾਰੇ ਪਾੜੇ ਪਾੜੇ ਪੰਡਿਤ ਥੱਕੇ ਸਿੱਧ ਸਮਾਦ ਲਗਾਏ ਇਹੋ ਮਨ ਵਾਸਨਾ ਆਵੇ ਥੱਕੇ ਕਰਮ ਕਮਾਏ ਭੇਖ ਧਾਰੀ ਭੇਖ ਕਰ ਥੱਕੇ 68 ਤੀਰਥ ਨਾਏ ਮਨ ਕੀ ਸਾਰ ਨਾ ਜਾਣਨੀ ਹਉ ਮੈਂ ਭਰਮ ਭੁਲਾਏ ਗੁਰ ਪ੍ਰਸਾਦੀ ਭਉ ਪਿਆ ਵਡਭਾਗ ਵਸਿਆ ਮਨ ਆਏ ਭੈ ਪਿਆ ਮਨ ਵਸ ਹੋਆ ਹਉ ਮੈਂ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਜਲਾਏ ਸਚ ਰਤੇ ਸੇ ਨਿਰਮਲੇ ਜੋਤੀ ਜੋਤ ਮਿਲਾਏ ਸਤਗੁਰ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਨਾ ਪਾਇਆ ਨਾਨਕ ਸੁਖ ਸਮਾਏ ਪੌੜੀ ਇਹ ਭੂਪਤ ਰਾਣੇ ਰੰਗ ਦਿਨ ਚਾਰ ਸੁਹਾਵਣਾ ਇਹੋ ਮਾਇਆ ਰੰਗ ਕਸੰਬ ਖਿਨ ਮਹ ਲਹ ਜਾਵਣਾ ਚਲ ਦਿਆ ਨਾਲ ਨਾ ਚੱਲੈ ਸਿਰ ਪਾਪ ਲੈ ਜਾਵਣਾ ਜਾਂ ਪਕੜ ਚਲਾਇਆ ਕਾਲ ਤਾਂ ਖਰਾ ਡਰਾਵਣਾ ਉਹ ਵੇਲਾ ਹੱਥ ਨਾ ਆਵੇ ਫੇਰੇ ਪਛਤਾਵਣਾ ਜਾਂ ਪਕੜ ਚਲਾਇਆ ਕਾਲ ਤਾਂ ਖਰਾ ਡਰਾਵਣਾ ਉਹ ਵੇਲਾ ਹੱਥ ਨਾ ਆਵੇ ਫੇਰੇ ਪਛਤਾਵਣਾ ਤਨ ਤਨ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਮਰਦਾਸ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਸੱਚੇ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਇਸ ਬਲੈਸਿੰਗ ਅਸ ਟੁਡੇ ਇਸ ਲੋਕ ਮਹੱਲਾ ਤੀਜਾ ਸੱਚੇ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਜੀ ਬਿਗਿਨਸ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਸਤਿਗੁਰ ਕੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਸਫਲ ਹੈ ਜੇ ਕੋ ਕਰੇ ਚਿਤ ਲਾਏ seva has many deep meanings and we usually translate seva to mean service but when you look in mahan kosh pai kan singh ji naba translate seva in a number of ways the first meaning that pai kan singh ji gives is that seva means khidmat upasana devotional worship to worship but with devotion with love to serve but with love not to serve like you serve someone in a shop because you have to or you're doing it for money no to serve out of love that is seva to do khidmat with upasana to serve someone with love the second meaning they give is tarika from the farsi root of the word which means way or path the third meaning which pai kan singh gives is adat which means nature or characteristics the fourth meaning which pai kan singh ji gives is from the sindhi word seva and that means puja to worship again so seva is not just the word service by itself seva can mean to worship with love seva can mean a way of life a tarika a way of living your life to serve consistently and continually seva is meant to become an adat is meant to become part of our characteristics seva in the end is the greatest worship of god satguru ki seva safal hai 
Now Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj says, to serve the Guru with love and devotion. What type of service, what type of worship can be safal? Safal, two words put together making one. Fal means fruit and sir means with, fruitful. How can your seva be fruitful? How can your seva, just like only when a plant is roots are in the ground and it receives water, then it becomes fruitful, then it gives flowers, then it gives blossoms. In the same way, you can put down the roots of serving, but there are ingredients which need to go into that. There's water which needs to go into that. And what does Guru Amar Das Ji say? Guru Amar Das Ji says, Your seva cannot be mindless. Je ko kare chetulai. Your chit, your focus, your concentration should be in that seva. Chetulai. Lai. Attach your chit. Attach your consciousness. Where are you meant to attach your consciousness? Where are you meant to attach your concentration? Whilst you're doing seva, Attach your concentration to the Satguru, to Guru Sahib. When you're doing Seva, be mindful that those who are you are serving, they are the form of God. Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj Satya Padshah, one day, was standing in the Jode of the Sangat, where the Sangat took off their shoes, and doing Seva, wiping clean each one of the shoes of the Sangat. And a Sikh came and asked, said, Maharaj, you are Pratakhar, you are the light of God. And yet you're standing amongst the shoes of the Sangat. Guru Sahib Ji picked up the shoes of one member of the Sangat said to that Sikh, Oh my friend, look into these shoes. I don't see these as the shoes of a human being. I see these are the shoes of Guru Nanak Sahib. Now what does that mean? That means when you're doing seva, put your chit, your consciousness, your concentration into Akal Purk, into Vaheguru, into God. Seva is there for you to see God in all. Pai Kanaya is doing seva and when he's giving out water, he doesn't see Muslim, Hindu or Sikh. He sees Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj. That is doing seva, chit lai, with concentration. Now if you focus your inside upon God whilst doing seva, what will you get? Man chindaya fal pavana. Guru Sahib Ji says, you will pavana, you will get man jindya fal. Anything that your man, anything that your mind desires, jindya, you will get those fal, you will get that as fruit. Out of this plant of seva, you will get the fruit of all your mind's desires, anything that you want. But greater than all of that, if you consistently serve the Guru, if you consistently do service with your focus upon the Guru, what will happen? Hommay vich ho jai. Your homme, your sense of ego, will leave from inside you. Now, now, sometimes we say that this Shabbat is sung or it's recited just in relation to Seva, but Guru Sahib Ji in the first talk is telling us Seva and Simran go together. Satguru ki Seva Safal hai. Your service is Safal, is rewarding, is fruitful. Jeko kare chitlai. If your consciousness is focused. Now, how are you going to focus your consciousness? Through Simran. Seva and Simran are two wings of one bird. The bird cannot fly with one wing, it needs both. Now Guru Sahib Ji is saying in the first talk of the Shabbat, your seva will become blessed. Well, whilst you're doing your seva, Simran is there, meditation upon God is there, remembrance of God is there. Maharaj Ji carries on the Shabbat, Bandhan Tore. Not just do you get the fruit of your mind's desires, not just your ego goes, but bandhana tore, everything which has been tying you down, all the shackles of ego, lust, desire which have been tying you down, tore, they are broken. Muktohe. When those shackles of desire, anger, greed are broken, then you truly gain freedom. Muktohe. Satchera hasmai. And what is muktohe? What is mukti for us? What is liberation for us? What is freedom for us? Satguru Ji says, Satche Rahe Samai. To Samai, for our light to merge into that light of truth, that is true freedom, that is liberation. Is Jagmaha Nam Alabha Gurmukh Vasaman Ai. Now, this is a really 
intense topic. It takes a lot of concentration to understand. Is jag meh. Jag means world. Is means this. Meh means within. Within this world, naam alabha. You cannot find naam. Alab. Lab means something which can be found. Alab means something which cannot be found. You cannot find Naam in this world, Guruji says. Now if you cannot find Naam, then what is the point of chanting the Guru's mantra in order to understand and in order to experience this state of Naam? Guruji says, Is jag meh Naam alab hai. You cannot find Naam. But Naam can be revealed to you. Gurmukh vasa man ai. If you turn your mukh towards the Guru, if you start following the Guru, vasa man ai. Then that Naam is revealed inside you. Vasa man ai comes to abide within you, with inside yourself. This is something to understand. In these two last dukha of this law, Guruji says, Nanak Sadguru Amar Das Maharaj is saying, Jogur seva hai apna. Someone who serves the Guru, but doesn't serve the Guru, thinking of the Guru as something else or someone else belonging to anyone else. Apna, thinking of the Guru as their own, thinking of the Guru as their father, thinking of the Guru as their mother, thinking of the Guru as their life. Now those people who do seva chitlai with their focus upon the Guru, concentrated upon the Guru, haunten balihare jau. Tan Guru Mardas Maharaj says, I am balihare, I am a sacrifice again and again to those people who serve the Guru with love, devotion and with concentration and focus. Now that brings us back to that talk, Is Jagmeh Naam Alabha. The name of God is beyond your worldly grasp and reach. Because the name of God is not worldly. The name of God is otherworldly. The name of God is the divine light within this world. How can it be revealed to you? When you start following the Guru, the Guru will reveal the light of God inside you. That is what Guru Amar Das Maharaj is saying. Guru Amar Das Maharaj is talking about Gur Prasad, the foundation of Sikhi. We begin Jap, Sahib by Guru Nanak. Guru Nanak Sahib Ji says, Ikko Ankar Satnam Karta Purk Nirpao Nirvair Akal Murt Ajuni Sahib And then comes this foundational point of Sikhi, Gaur Prasad. The Vaheguru can be revealed through the grace of the Guru. Guru Mardas Ji Maharaj carries on this topic in the second slok, Mahalati Ja, Manamukh Manna Ajitaha Duja Lagajai. Now, it says Man, the mind is Ajit, cannot be conquered. But Guru Sahib Ji puts next to it Manmukh. When you're facing towards your mind, when you, as Professor Sahib Singh has translated it, when you become a Jilla, when you become a disciple of your mind, then you can't conquer it. How can you conquer the one who you're a disciple of? How can you conquer the one you bow down to? When your mind says to you, do this bad thing, you bow down to it and do it. How are you going to conquer it? Duja Lagajai. Instead, your mind attaches you into the love of duality, into the love of this world. A person who is a disciple of their mind does not have sok peace even in their supana, even in their dreams. Dukhe duk vihai. And their life, vihai means to pass away. Dukhe duk, in pain upon pain, misery upon misery, stress upon stress. Now Guru Sahib Ji talks about those people who have tried to conquer this mind. Kare, kare. Paade, paade, pandit thakke. Sitting in their houses, going from door to door, the pandit, the scholars, they have become tired of reading again and again, reading more and more, more and more, more and more. Because they think that reading will bring them to that point of enlightenment. Sid the samadhi lagai. And those sids, those people who are trying to find God through doing samadhya, through going into these trances, 
Satguru Ji Maharaj says, even that is not the path. Maharaj Ji says, Eo man vasana vei thakke karma kamai. They cannot Vas control this man, this mind. Thakke karma kamai. Instead they get tired of their actions, their karma. Pek tari pek kar thakke. Now many people go towards this path of trying to gain all the knowledge in the world. Many other people try to go to this path of trances. Other people go to the path of doing big. That fake it until you make it. <laughs> that you can put some sort of big on, you can put some sort of religious garb on, costume on, and that will bring you inner peace. Maharaj says, Nay, takke, even they are tired. Arsati is a nai. There and there are those people who go to the 68 places of pilgrimage in India and they think once we have done Ishnan, once we have had a bath at these places of pilgrimage, then we will find peace. But Guruji says, no, even they are tuck, even they are tight. Man ki sar na jaan ni. They do not even know sar. They do not even know, have any knowledge about their mind. Homme par me pulai. They are pulai, they are deluded in the doubt of ego. People are serving their mind and they think they'll be able to conquer their mind. Guruji says no. How can you win over your mind if it cannot be done through pilgrimages, if it cannot be done through putting on costumes, if it cannot be done by reading, if it cannot be done by trances, then what can it be done by? Tan Guru Amar Das Maharaj says, Gur Prasadi Pao Paya Vadapag Vasyaman Ai. Those people who gain the Guru's grace, not by following their mind, but by following the Guru, dedicate themselves to the Guru, they get the Guru's grace, the Guru's, the Guru's Prasad, Guru Prasadi. And what does the Guru bless us with? Pao Paya. Then we gain this loving fear of God, this loving respect of God. Vadapag Vasyaman Ai. Vasyaman Ai. And Vidpag, Gagga has a Sihari here, it means Vidpagi. Those people have great fortune who gain the Guru's grace because Vasya Man Ai, because God comes to abide within them. Man When you have loving respect of God, when you have loving fear of God, then you conquer your mind. Why? Because you're no longer a disciple of your mind, you become a disciple of God, and when you become a disciple of God, then everything comes and bows in front of you. Through the Guru's Shabbat, through the Guru's words, ego is burnt from within, is purged from within. Only those people are pure who are imbued, who are completely coloured in the colour of truth and the colour of true Vaheguru. Jyoti Jyoti Milai their light merges in with that light which created the universe, Akal Purkavahi Guru. But how does this all happen? Again, Guru Amar Das Ji emphasizes this again. Satgur Milya Nao Paya Nanaka Sok Samai. In the first slok, Guru Ji says, Ke is Jagambaha Naam Alabaha. Naam cannot be found in this world. But in this slok, Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj says, Satgur Milya. Milia doesn't just mean to meet, to go and greet someone to say hi. Milia means to completely imbue yourself, to become one with. When a Sikh goes to the Guru, melts his or her inside in front of the Guru and moulds themselves in the Guru's love, Naupaya. Then they experience Nam. Then they experience the power of God's name. Nanak Soksamai and they merge into peace, happiness. Guru Madhas Ji says, Pauri. Sat Guru Pacha Ji says, Ehipupatarane Ranga Dinachar Sohavana. If you look at the kings of the world, Ehipupat, Pu means world, Pati means the one who owns. If you look at these landowners, Rane Rang, and the pleasures, Rang means the pleasure in this case. That these Rane, that these kings and landowners are having. If you look at their pleasures, Guruji says, Din Char Sohavana. Only Sohavana, they look good, but for only four days, few days. Din Char, literally four days. It means they only last for very few days. 
not all that glitters is gold. They look happy on the outside, but they're crying on the inside. And these pleasures do not remain forever. We don't want a pleasure which remains forever. Ihu maya ranga kasomba kin mahalahajavana. These pleasures of the world are like the color of the safflower. Kasombada jira buta hundaya, kasombada jira follow hundaya. They are like the color of this kasomba. Now, kasomba was a color which looked very pretty. If you dyed your clothes in that color, they would look very pretty. But one wash and it, the whole color would go. These things look very pretty. They glitter, glitter like gold, but when you touch them, they turn to glass. Kin mahala javana. Guruji says, in a second, in an instant, all these things, these pleasures break. Now what is that kin? What is that moment which can break all of these? Chal deya naal na chal When you leave this world, naal na chal they don't go with you. Sir paap la javana. The pleasures which you have gained by looting people, by deceiving people, those pleasures will not go with you, Guru Sahib Ji says. But Maharaj Ji says, something will go with you. Sometimes you say, oh, nothing will go with you. Maharaj Ji says, the pleasures which you have done, these guilty pleasures, they will not go with you. But the sin with which you collected them together, those sins will go with you upon your head. Sir Paap La Javana, upon your head, you will carry those sins. When Kaal, when death grabs hold of you, Kaal can mean time, it can also mean death. When death grabs hold of you, Jaan, on that day, Pakar means literally to grab hold. Chalaya, and make you leave this world. Because nobody wants to leave by themselves. If, if death didn't come and make us leave, no one would leave. When death comes and makes you leave, grabs hold of you, Ta Khara Dravna. If all you have done in your life is waste by deceiving people and by thinking the only worldly pleasures are the end. No. Satguru Pachaji says, Khara Dravna. That path will be scary. Khara means it truly will be Dravna, scary for you at that last moment. But for someone who's collected the wealth of God's name, for someone who's followed the Guru, for someone who's gained the love and the respect of God, for someone who has experienced the taste of God's name, that last moment is blessed. Every moment is blessed. But for those who haven't, Maharaj says, Dravana, it's frightening. O Vela Hatna Ave, Fir Pashtavana. And what happens at that last moment? The human being cries out, O Vela Hatna Ave. But time does not come back into your hands. Once it goes through, it leaves. Firpashtamana. And all is left is regret. Satguru Pachaji Maharaj is saying, Do not be the person who regrets. Instead, be the one who lives their life in remembrance. There are only two R's. There are either regrets or there's remembrance. Live your life in remembrance. Do your seva in remembrance. And that remembrance will bring you that pleasure, that peace, that sukh, which will go with you even when you leave this world.